got a chance to work with Devin before. Hell of a fighter. And actually, it's so crazy that uh, the third day that I was in the gym getting ready for Conor McGregor, I had a chance to spar Devin Haynes. And so, you know, with me just moving around with him, I think we only did like probably four rounds because I wasn't in no shape. Devin Haney, sharp, sharp skills, great boxer. And, you know, of course, his dad going to rave about it. Oh, my son did this. My son did that. Um, and, but my, my take on it always is there's a lot of guys that can do good in a boxing gym. I can have 30 bad days in a boxing gym. The boxing gym don't count. You know, everybody, even like different guys all around us, the sport of boxing, rave about what they did in the gym. I'm going to let every fighter know, and every trainer know, and every promoter know. You make your, you, you're there to make your mistakes in a boxing gym. In a boxing gym, you're there to learn. It's a learning experience. You know, I'm not in the gym. When I'm, when I'm in the gym a lot of times, I'm there to, to grow and to get better and help guys get better. And I want guys that sharp help me get better. So just with me being 40 years old, working with a young, youthful fighter like Devin, it made me, even for even for the Conor McGregor fight, I didn't work extremely hard. I could have worked because I could have made the fight uh, go two or three rounds. But then the people would have been upset the fight happened like it happened because the people got their money's worth. But I, but I had a chance to move around with Devin. I think even like with you know, with me boxing him, I was more, I was, I was more on the defense and offense, you know, because um, when you're at the elite level, you work on different things. So I know, I knew I wasn't sharp. The third, my third day back at age 40, I knew I wasn't sharp. So with me not being sharp, if I know my offense is not there, I'm working on my defense. That's why I got all my faculties now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So shout out to Fight Hype for this interview they did, exclusive interview they did uh, with the legend, eight division world, five division world champion, former pound for pound king, former pay-per-view king, the man formerly known as Pretty Boy, formerly known as uh, Money, now known as TBE, the best ever, Floyd Mayweather Jr. With 50 wins, no loss and no draw, 27 big wins by way of knockout. He is uh, stood at five foot eight with a 72 inch arm reach as he competed in the sport of boxing. Uh, became a champion at 130, 135, 140, 147, and 154. Uh, five division world champion. And he could have been undisputed uh, if it wasn't for the politics within the sport of boxing. Nonetheless, he didn't get the opportunity to become undisputed because he was supposed to fight Zab Judah for undisputed after Zab Judah had defeated Corey Spinks. Uh, then Zab Judah fought against Carlos Boldemir, who was his mandatory. He, lo he lost to Carlos Boldemir, who then Carlos Boldemir picked up uh, the straps and chose not to pay two of the sanction belts, uh, which was the WBC and the WBA, if I'm not mistaken. And when Floyd Mayweather chose to fight Carlos Boldemir and beat him, Carlos Boldemir wasn't undisputed because he chose not to pay the sanctioning fees. So that eliminated him as being undis undisputed. Uh, nonetheless, Floyd Miller would have fought Zab Judah for undisputed. He just didn't get the opportunity because Zab Judah dropped the ball and then he lost to Carlos Boldemir. Then when he went to fight Carlos Boldemir for undisputed, Carlos Boldemir uh, essentially vacated the belts because he chose not to pay the sanction fees. So nonetheless, <clears throat> Floyd Mayweather you know, had the opportunity. He's a legend and arguably the greatest fighter in boxing history. In my opinion, he is the greatest fighter in boxing history. Um, with that said, Floyd Miller discussed the highly anticipated, the highly glorified sparring session he had with undefeated, undisputed lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is now the junior welterweight title contender in Devin the Dream Haney. Devin Haney is now 30 wins, no losses, no draw. Uh, 15 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm each. Uh, with that said, we know that Floyd Mayweather and Devin Haney has sparred 
and Floyd Mayweather addressed him in Devin Haney's sparring session. Uh, and, you know, he addressed Devin Haney's father, trainer, manager, Bill Haney, whom he said is raving and uh, cheering that Devin Haney has success against Floyd Mayweather. Uh, this is Floyd Mayweather, as you heard, he indirectly um, let you know that Devin Haney did have success against him. Uh, and he said that, you know, but it's nothing to uh, write home about because he was just simply working on his defense. He was 40 years old and he wasn't sharp, right? Uh, so he said that, you know, when you're in the boxing gym, he said, let me just tell everybody, when you're in the boxing gym and uh, you are sparring and you are preparing for a fight, uh, this was, he stated, he was preparing for the the mega showdown with Conor McGregor, which, ha which happened to be and turned out to be the second biggest fight uh, in boxing history. Uh, it did 4.3 million pay-per-view buys and, and garnered over 400 million in revenue. It's the second most successful boxing fight in boxing history, only behind Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. So once again, he's on that list. So he stated that Devin Haney, uh, uh, obviously was younger, you know, uh, this is when he fought Conor McGregor. So this was about, um, he said, you never hang was a young, hungry champion. Uh, so he was 40 years old. So this was about six years ago. Right. Uh, so that means Devin Haney was extremely young cause he's 24 going 25. So he was about 19 years old. Okay. Uh, and so he said that, you know, um, essentially he addressed it because Bill Haney had let the world know that uh, Devin Haney had success against Floyd Mayweather. Uh, that is something for these young fighters to write home about. Uh, Floyd Mayweather fought Conor McGregor in 2017. So that was six years ago. So Devin Haney was about 19 years old. Uh, and so Floyd Mayweather, uh, they, he's right, 1000% correct when he says that, you know, it's sparring, it don't count, right? Uh, it's just for preparation. So there's fighters that get the best of certain fighters, but it don't mean nothing when you're under the lights. We always heard about the sparring session with Floyd Mayweather uh, and Errol Spence Jr. and Floyd Mayweather and Paul Spadafaro. Why do we hear about this? Because Floyd Mayweather is such a big entity within the sport of boxing. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, the myth of Floyd Mayweather is almost like he can't get touched. He's the best defensive fighter ever, in my opinion. Uh, you very rarely see him get touched in the fights when it counts. And he made legends and icons and Hall of Famers look average. So when you hear anybody getting the best of Floyd Mayweather in any type of fighting, then it's going to go viral because it's like somebody beating Michael Jordan in one-on-one -on -one basketball. Michael Jordan can win 10 out of nine out of 10 times, but the one time he lose, it's going to go viral. It's going to go viral because they are seen as superheroes. They don't have weaknesses. So it's going to go viral. Tom Brady wins seven Super Bowls, but people uh, focus on the, the few f Super Bowls he did lose. Right? Uh, because you say there's a chink in the armor. Right? Nothing and nobody is invincible. And so people get to a point where they want to see you lose and they don't care whether it's under the lights or in sparring. It don't, it don't matter. So people want to see Floyd Mayweather take a L. And so guess what happens? Anytime any fighter gets the best of Floyd Mayweather, Errol Spence went viral. That's how Errol Spence got a, a lot of his notoriety because we heard about these, this glorified sparring session that Errol Spence black and Floyd Mayweather eye. And everybody wanted to know who is this kid, Errol Spence? He got to be the truth. He black and Floyd Mayweather eye, and it's sparring. Floyd Mayweather's spar is completely different than he fights. He's a dog in sparring. He wants to fight in sparring. When he's under the lights, he makes sure he secured the W and get the win. He's a completely different guy under the lights than he is sparring. So this is Floyd Mayweather indirectly telling you Devin Haney had success and was getting the best of him in the sparring session at 19. But again, uh, like Floyd Miller said, it don't count, but it does count to Devin Haney because it's experience that Devin Haney had garnered. It's confidence that Devin Haney garnered. And it's, it's priceless. That's priceless. If you know you can touch Floyd Mayweather, regardless if he's being defensive or not, regardless if he's sharp or not, Floyd Mayweather, 70% of himself, 
is better than 85% of boxers at their best. Let me say it to you again. S Floyd Mayweather at 70% is better than 85% of boxers at their absolute best, 100%. So regardless of what version of Floyd Mayweather you got, if you can have any type of success against Floyd Mayweather, it gives you confidence. It gives you the understanding that you're on the right track and that you can do something big against other fighters because, again, 70% of him is 85% better than most fighters at 100%. And so he has to understand that fighters are going to rave about that. And it showed the confidence Errol Spence had moving through his career. If I could do that to Floyd Mayweather, who was anybody else? Paul Spadafara, he retired undefeated as well, or with one loss, right? It gives you a sense of confidence. So that's why, you know, uh, people, you know, uh, uh, rave when they have success against Floyd Mayweather and sparring, because again, Paul Spotify retired, 49 wins, one loss, one draw, 19 wins by way of knockout. The Southpaw, a world champion. But guess what? All you hear about Paul Spotify, he nearly, his record is almost identical to Floyd Mayweather. He got 52 fights in his career, uh, uh, 51 fights in his career, 19 knockouts, and only one loss. But everything you hear from Paul Spotify is about his sparring session with Floyd Mayweather. Most people don't even know Paul Spotify's record is so successful. They don't even know that. Everybody knows though, that he gave Floyd Mayweather good work in sparring. Because again, regardless of what version, now we know Floyd Mayweather was seen, was was uh, said to be out of shape when he sparred Paul Spotify. But we, this is what we do know, is that again, 70% of Floyd Mayweather is better than 85% of the fighters that are at their 100%. So when Earl Spence have success against Floyd Mayweather, who Floyd Mayweather said that he just came out of a uh, 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 jail doing that stint and it was ahead of the Robert Guerrero fight when he sparred Errol Spence and Errol Spence gave him the work. Again, he wasn't 100% of himself, but that's better than 85% of fighters. When Floyd Mayweather sparred uh, Devin Haney, he said he was 40 years old, he wasn't in the best shape of his life, and he wasn't in the gym. Again, that's better than 85% of most boxers that walk the earth, period. So that's where the rave comes from. So Devin Haney is now undisputed and going to be heading into becoming a two division champion as he takes on the two time uh, WBC junior welterweight world champion superstar boxes Regis Ruguru Progre October 28th. So with that said, and it looks like it's gonna be Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, he'll be a two division champion, undefeated and undisputed. That speaks volumes. And he garnered much needed experience and confidence fighting it, uh, sparring and, and having success against Floyd Mayweather, period. So it is what it is. Anytime anybody has success against Floyd Mayweather, it's going to go viral. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L. D B C shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.